The Gateway of India. The Gateway of India is an arch monument built during the 20th century in Mumbai, India. The monument was erected to commemorate the landing of King Emperor George the and Queen Empress Mary of Apollo Bunda on their visit to India in 1911. Built in Indo-Saracenic style, the foundation stone for the Gateway of India was laid on March 31, 1911. The structure is an arch made of basalt, 26 meters, 85 feet, high. The final design of George Whitet was sanctioned in 1914 and the construction of the monument was completed in 1924. The gateway was later used as a symbolic ceremonial entrance to India for viceroys and the new governors of Bombay. It served to allow entry and access to India. The Gateway of India is located on the waterfront at Apollo Bunda area of the end of Chhhatrapati Shiva Himaharaj making South Mumbai and overlooks the Arabian Sea. The monument has also been referred to as the Taj Mahal of Mumbai and is the city's top tourist attraction. The foundation stone was laid on March 31, 1913 by the governor of Bombay, Sir George Sydenham Clark with the final design of George Whitehead sanctioned on March 31, 1914. The land on which the gateway was built on was previously a crude jetty used by the fishing community which was later renovated and used as a landing place for British governors and other prominent people. In earlier times, it would have been the first structure that visitors arriving by boat in Mumbai would have seen. Between 1915 and 1919, work proceeded at Apollo Bund Port to reclaim the land on which the gateway and the new seawall would be built. The foundations were completed in 1920 and construction was finished in 1924. The gateway was opened on December 4, 1924 by the Vice Roy, the Earl of Reading. The last British troops to leave India following the country's independence, the 1st Battalion of the Somerset Light Infantry, passed through the gateway on their way out in a ceremony on February 28, 1948, signalling the end of British rule. The structural design of the Gateway of India is constituted of a large arch, with a height of 26 m. The monument is built in yellow basalt and indissoluble concrete. The structural plan of Gateway of India is designed in the Indo-Saracenic style. One can also find traces of Muslim architectural styles incorporated in the structure of the grandiose edifice. Designed with intricate latticework, the four turrets are the prominent features of the entire structure of the Gateway of India. There are steps constructed behind the arch of the gateway that leads to the Arabian Sea. The central dome is 48 feet 15 meters in diameter and 83 feet 25 meters above the ground at its highest point. The whole harbour front was realigned in order to come in line with the planned esplanade which would sweep down to the centre of the town. On each side of the arch, there are large holes with the capacity to hold 600 people. The cost of the construction was 2 million, borne mainly by the Imperial Government of India. Due to a paucity of funds, the approach road was never built and so that gateway stands at an angle to the road leading out to it. The Gateway of India is considered as a symbolic monument that represents the city of Mumbai, India located opposite the Taj Mahal Palace and Tower Hotel. For the British arriving to India, the gateway was a symbol of the power and majesty of the British Empire. Though built as a welcome to King George V for his visit of 1911, then an event of grand significance for British India and the British Empire, today serves as a monumental memento of British colonial rule over India. The Gateway of India is a major tourist destination in Mumbai and a popular gathering spot for locals, street vendors and photographers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more similar videos.